Whoa, it's big. It is huge, Steve. Ladies and gentlemen, today Steve and I are up in BC, Canada, going out for some beautiful cuts. We're excited about it. Should be a great show. We headed up river. Oh, hold it. It's looking way too fammy. Okay. Get ready. We headed up river. All right, I'm gonna work my way out, cast a little bit. I'm, I'm looking for that rock here probably to be the main area where the fish are gonna be, so here we go. All right, I knew, I was pretty sure the fish would be out in that dark seam. I worked my way out and sure enough, when I got the fly there, fish was ready. Got him. Is this a good fish? It is really pulling. Awesome fish, Steve. It's a good fish. Put on a yellow stimulator and uh, they are coming up and hitting it hard. Um, I think it's imitating this yellow salmon fly or stone fly that hatches up here. Steve brought the cut toward him. It's just a good, good fighting fish. Man, that's a nice fish. Steve prepared to release the cut. It's ready to go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I worked a cast along the bank. Oh, good heavens, that's a good fish. And I got it. Oh, you got it? Yep. Nice. I've oh, got man. it. Nice. I've got it, and it's a beauty. It's going right by me. Oh, Oh, golly! That was a big fish. That was a big fish. It took the green drake. It was right in front of me. I could see it go by and then just got off. At least 17 inches? Yeah, 17 inch fish. Yeah, Darn really it. The... Steve, this looks like a super hole. It does. Um, how do you think I'd attack this? Well, I think, you know, keep low, keep a low profile, and then uh, just kind of hit that, that soft water, just on the inside seam, and work your way down through. Or they'll probably come out close to those logs, I bet. Okay, let's, should we try it? Yeah. Okay. That was a good cast. Try one more. Yeah, right close to that edge. That's the, kind of the best spot, if I can get it. Yeah, that's real exciting. I hit the inside seam of the current and a smaller fish came up and went for it. And a couple casts later, the big guy hit. Oh, it's big. It is huge, Steve. Good job. Biggest one of the trip. It's a great fish. This is a good 17, 18 incher. Wow, it's big. Look at that. Well, maybe it's not 17, 18 inches, but big nonetheless. Look at that in the water. My fly rod pulsed under the weight of the fish. It's right down there. Wow, it wasn't quite ready. Nice job, lad. Thank you. That was, that was, that was worth waiting for. Yeah. It's taken me a while to catch some fish, but that was gorgeous. Boy, what a big, gorgeous cut. <laughs> I hope you had a look at it, because it was beautiful. Oh, the camera was there while it slid by. Beautiful fish. Man, good 17, 18 inches. Wow, very nice. Cool it's take, cool. too, right against that log. It was. It's very, very, very exciting, very exciting fish. It took 
the yellow stimulator. Uh, this guy right here, this guy right here, this guy right here. Nice yellow stimulator. And wow, it's exciting. Cool. one right in front of me. Uh, we've seen a few green drakes starting to hatch. We've also um, saw some fish start rising here in the faster water. And uh, so we put on a green drake emerger, which uh, keeps it you know, below the surface. And uh, I got that one hit right away. Um, and I wasn't really ready for it. It was in shallower water than I thought it would ever be. So we'll see if I can get another one. There it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, good heavens. Darn it. It was big. Nice job. That was big. I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. Steve was having trouble spotting his fly through the glare of the water. Yeah, I see this one. Got him. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Jeez, that's fun. That is so fun. I want to keep him out of there so he doesn't spook the other fish. Just a slow rise. It is really pulling. It was a cool rise. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I don't know how well the camera picks it up because it's so subtle. It's hard to. Jeez, this, this, I mean, it's fighting hard. It's got to be a decent fish. Yeah. Should I go chase him a little bit? Oh, it's big. It's big. I mean, he just does not want to come in. Jeez, another beautiful cut, Steve. Tried to fool him. Jeez. Yes. Finally, Steve managed to bring the fish to the net. Oh, just fat, you know? Yeah. It's, it's not that long, but man, it's fat. Yeah, look how fat that thing is. Beautiful fish. Fat, fat, fat. Look at that. Look at that fish. Unbelievable. Just, you know, he's probably in 12 inches of water. Maybe yeah. 18 at the most. Just this slow little slurp. Yeah, that was so Boom. cool. Yeah, and cool. I had either the same fish or one just like it just a second before that that got on, you know. So I think there's more. This is great. I think we're getting just at the beginning of a green drake hatch here. So they're taking the emergers and uh, we've got the right one. And hopefully we'll get a bunch more. Tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. One thing that we do frequently, uh, either on guide trips or on our average fishing days, is fish multi-fly rigging. So uh, what we have set up now now is what we call a hopper dropper. So I've got a nice buoyant uh, grasshopper here. And so it's definitely hopper time. We're tucked up against a lot of grass. And tied right off the back of the hook shank is some tippet material. Okay, and that's gonna run all the way down to my second offering. So what you're effectively doing is fishing two parts of the water column. When you've got a dry fly on, one, it's gotta be buoyant enough to hold up your hopper. Two, uh, is that whatever I've got tied to the first fly, which I've got 4X here, and it's in most instances that's about six pound test, 4X to the top bug, and one smaller in diameter, 5X to the bottom. That way not only is it gonna cast better, 
but if I hang up or break off a big fish, I only lose one fly at a time. Okay, no more with this type of rig than two or three feet uh, distance wise between your offerings. You're not going to fish a deep pocket with a hopper dropper setup. So if you get much beyond four or five feet deep, uh, then you've got to go more traditional with a longer leader uh, as well as a strike indicator if you're going to fish any deeper uh, than let's call it waist deep water. So the, the two fly rigging can be effective, uh, but make sure that uh, uh, you put one smaller in diameter material between the two. And there again uh, is how you tie right off the back of the hook shank of that first fly. Just the improved clinch knot and uh, works great. Yeah, we're right in the middle of a green drake hatch and there's a type of mayfly and they just float down the river like little boats. And uh, it's kind of cool to watch. Uh, the fish are rising right out in front of us. Oh, I just saw a big fish rise. And you just cast probably, ooh, about three feet above them. And then you catch a fish. And they're always, oh, they're big fish. Big and I lost it. Yeah, that was a big fish. And I lost it. Yep. Okay, I just saw a fish rise. Got him. Oh, yeah. Littler. Littler, littler guy this time. It's, l it's a littler one this time. But still, good fighting fish. And that's not even one that I was, that I was after, that I saw rise. They're all just so chunky. There's no small cutthroats in here. This one hit below surface, the fly had sunk. Uh, but I just saw this little, not even a splash, a little swirl under the water. I was able to set the hook on him. Another nice cutty. <laughs> they're all nice. They are. We gotta stop saying. I know. We gotta I know. stop saying they're littler guys and they're people they're are gonna beautiful. think we're great fishermen. <laughs> this is just fun fishing. Yeah, absolutely. There's just no two ways around it. It is just amazing. Have a hatch going like this with nice fish and you match the hatch perfectly so they're coming after it. Just amazing. Man, I just can't believe how many fish are in this hole. Oh, I just saw one rise right out in front of me though. Oh, we got it. Yeah, it's another beauty. You can barely see them rising, but I saw that one. So I just cast about three feet in front of them and it came up, grabbed the fly and the fight was on. Wow, every fish in this river is beautiful. This might be a little smaller than the ones we've been catching, but yeah, but, but still, they're just gorgeous. The cutthroat started to tire and I worked it close. Oh geez, I almost had it. He just dug, dug one more time. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Fish. It is. They're all fat. Beautiful cutting. Yeah. Whoa. Very nice. Again yep. on the Mayfly Emerger. Yep. Awesome take fish. A look at that fly? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should. I'll show you what it looks like. And uh, Last one we have since I lost. Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna be catching all the fish because Steve lost his. You can tell a little parachute on top so you can see it and the yeah. body sits below the water. Beautiful. It's a great fly. Yeah. Great fly. Great fisherman. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, another one just row. Oh, he just twice. See ya. Oh yeah, it's a beauty. Steve's got on a big cut. Very nice. Whoa, that's a big fish. Big green great cripple he came up after. Wow. Previous fish kind of just came up slowly and slurped this, the flies, but this one just almost out of the water to take it. It was pretty cool. Beautiful fish, Steve. Yeah, this wow. is pretty cool. It's a big showy strike on the, you know, cause this sits up higher in the water. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There he comes. Oh. 
<laughs> this fish was stubborn and would not give up, but Steve eventually managed to bring it in. It is so cool. I'm just speechless. I'm just in awe of these fish and this river. Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That's fat. Yeah, it is. Just a fat, fat, fat fish. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Look at that. I mean, you know, it's 15, 16, but just chunky, chunky, chunky. Oh, wow. Very wow. nice. Wow. Yes, very nice. Very nice. That was cool. Compared to the other strikes, you know, nice little slip. This, or nice little. What do I want to say? Well, I have to interrupt you anyway because our net's floating away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! What a fish! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice. Oh, yes. Cool. Yep. Came out of the thick stuff again. That was so cool. Good fish, good fish. Try and grab the net. With these mayflies, they have the nymph stage and then they emerge through, up through the water column and hatch as adults. And uh, we've caught them both on the emergers and the adults today. It's a big fish. Yeah, it's a nice fat fish. Oh, 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 man. Boy, that's big. Jeez, that's big. Man, a lot. I keep saying it, but jeez, they just. They keep getting bigger. I know. Tell you, I am getting tired. These fish are wearing me out. <laughs> That's a tough problem. Yeah. <laughs> tough problem for an old man, huh? <laughs> Get him out of the net. It's as long as the net is. Yeah, boy. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Man. Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. Okay, I need to revive. Oh, he's ready to go. Oh, right. He's ready to go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was a nice fish. I mean, I could tell it was big, you know, when he came up and hit it, but they've all been good sized fish. That one's just a margin bigger. Margin? Yeah, margin yeah, bigger. That was huge. Yeah, two and a half, three pounds, maybe. Absolutely. Maybe. Yeah. Well, Steve, that was just a fantastic day on this beautiful river in BC. It sure was. Huge cutthroat. Lots of them. Yep, fantastic. Let's call it a day. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Lad. Because we're having fun catching fish. Hey folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.